Hey YouTube, this is going to be a quick video about uh, creative ways to find money in your budget to use toward metals. Um, I know when I first started trying to get metals, I went through my budget line by line and tried to kind of find ways and areas I could trim and cut in order to try to make some more money for metals and for savings. And you know, even if you're not interested in stacking metal, but you want to save more money or you want to pay off debts so or those kind of things, um, these are all things you can do to help trim your budget in order to have more money for other things. So um, anyway, the first thing on the list is one that, uh, lucky for me, my wife and I didn't have a big issue with, um, credit card debt. Um, we were fortunate enough when we got married, um, we got some money for uh, from generous friends and family for as wedding gifts, and we used some of that cash to pay off the little bit of credit card debt we did have. Um, so we had zero credit card debt. Uh, now we're off to a great start there as far as our marriage goes. But if you do have credit card debt, that's uh, money every month you're paying in um, interest toward those credit cards. So um, we we uh, once we got married and paid off those credit card debts, um, we canceled a couple of cards each and got down to one card that we share. We use it um, a couple times each month and try to keep 100 to $200 on it and just pay it off in its entirety every month so that we're not paying any interest on it. Uh, but if you do have credit card debt and you're paying interest on it, there's any way you could pay that down. Um, I would pay that off first before you even thought about stacking because um, that credit card interest is money that you're losing every month. But for us, I didn't have anything in there as far as our savings. Um, this side is going to be um, things to cut or trim and this side is over here is going to be how much we personally have saved. Um, but with us, we didn't have credit card debt so not really saving any money there. Um, the next one is the car. Um, again, we were both lucky here. We both owned used cars when we were married. Um, both older cars and we've since upgraded but um, we've always paid cash for cars we've had we've never had a car payment um, if you do have a car payment and you're serious about trying to save money or pay off debt or stack more silver you might consider um, trading that in or selling it and uh, getting I would say it's gonna sound silly to say but I would say upgrading and I'll put that in quotes upgrading to a used car that's um, older and that you can you know have no payment on um, we drive a 1998 Toyota Sienna um, that runs like a top. We love it. It's great for our kids, but uh, we have no car payment. So again, over here it shows no no savings for us. But if you have a car payment, that could be several hundred dollars you save every month if you can get rid of that. Um, the next one on there's phone. This was a big one for us. We had two smartphones through Verizon. Our bill was about 180 dollars a month for the phones and, and limited data and um, unlimited minutes and I don't know what else we were paying for, but $180 a month, which to me was ridiculous. Um, we got rid of those phones when our contract ended and went to Walmart and got the straight talk phones. Um, our bills then uh, went to $30 for my phone, $40 for my wife's. We just decided to get one smartphone between us. Um, so our phone bill, we saved $110 a month uh, by making that switch to our phone bill. Um, the next one on there's internet. We decided um, a while back that we didn't need to have internet at home. We have internet at work and work, work a lot so at home we just decided it was going to be family time and we didn't need to be cruising the internet so we canceled our internet. That saved us $45 a month. With that because we had no internet we canceled our Netflix. That saved us 10 bucks a month. Not a huge savings but every little bit counts. Um, we looked at uh, how much we spent on coffee, um, and for this, this, you know, your mileage may vary here, but, um, you know, we figured cutting back one coffee per week um, or so could save us $40 if we each cut out one coffee per week. That would save us $40 per month. Um, student loans. Um, I had a small student loan. I had uh, two student loans. One was pretty big, one was pretty small. The smaller one was about $3,000, and my payment on that was about $50 per month. So we saved for several months in order to have the money to pay off that one, the $3,000, the smaller of the loans, because that saved us that $50 payment every month. So that was something we worked toward, and we figured once we paid that off, it would give us $50 extra every month for our income. Um, soda's another one, kind of like coffee. Again, your mileage may vary if you're not a soda drinker, or depending on how much you drink, but um, I kind of tried to cut that out of my diet, and that saved us about $10, I would say, per month conservatively. Another one is car insurance. Um, when we bought our van, uh, before that we had a little two-seater Toyota Solera. 
that was red, a little sporty car, and you know, with two kids, we decided it was time to sell that and get something more family friendly. And the insurance, the difference in the insurance uh, was about $20 per month. We just have liability, but even with liability, the difference between that sporty two door and that kind of soccer mom van was $20 per month. Um, the next one's eating out. Again, we figured if we eat out twice a week and we cut that down to once per week, it would save us about $80 per month, and we've done that. Um, the last two on here, the next one's uh, your mortgage. We pay extra on our mortgage each year, and each year our mortgage payment the following year goes down by about $10 from us paying extra on it. So every year our mortgage goes down a little bit because we've been paying extra on it throughout the year. And the last one is just kind of, you know, sorted silver math. So when you go to buy something, think about how much silver you could buy with that money. It saved us at the grocery store and buying silly things and I figure conservatively it saved our family at least $25 per month. So for us, our total savings here is about $400 per month. We were able to trim out of our budget. And we didn't do this all overnight. This was probably about a year or so in the making for us to get this savings out of our budget. So anyway, just kind of an overview of things that have worked for us. Again, your mileage may vary. Everybody's finances are different, but just some thoughts and ideas to hopefully get the wheels turning for you on ways to find extra money in your budget. Thanks, guys. Take care. God bless.